Hey friends, what's up? Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gent Sense. I hope that you're doing well. So a little while back, I tested out some samples. Actually, I've done that a few times here recently, but a little while back, I was testing out some samples and uh, two of them were from the house of Algabra. So this is a house I knew nothing about. I'd never smelled anything uh, from them. And, and frankly, if I'm honest here, when I looked at the samples, uh, I, I judged a book by its cover a little bit. Yeah, so I looked at them and thought they just looked a little, I don't know, a little, a little cheap maybe. And then I smelled them and holy crap, they were good, like good. And so I got myself a discovery set and I haven't opened it yet. Whole bunch of fragrances in that and I'll be opening that one soon, but I also got this. Yes, my first full-fledged, full-bottle fragrance from the house. And that's what I'm going to talk to you guys about here today. I will let you know if Eye of Seven Hills is good, as good as the fragrances I smelled before. And I'll just let you know how it smells. So let's jump into it. Let's check it out. So interestingly enough, when I filmed the first video on this house, like I had these, these straggler samples, I don't even remember where I got them from, but when I filmed that video, uh, I looked up where they were because I was like, where can you get these? Like, I don't remember where I even got these samples and they were not available at maxaroma.com. I checked, but now they are. So now they are up at maxaroma.com. You know what that means. It means if you, if you shop at maxaroma.com, use the code gents10, save yourself 10% off your order. And also pricing on this is gonna be 195 US. That's for the full presentation. So if you use gents10, it'll be $19.50 less than that. All right, let's kick it off with the presentation, which is actually very nice, I gotta say. So here we go, front of the box, obviously much different because it's a painting instead of your more typical, you know, name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration, all that. Really like it. On one side, you have your batch code, you have your barcode and your ingredient information. And then on the back is where you'll find the name of the fragrance, the name of the house, and some info on the fragrance as well. Also size is at the bottom and it is uh, 50 mils. This is a slip cover, so you take that off and then you have once again, the name of the house on top of the box. Opens up like so. And then you have this cool postcard, same painting as from the front of the box. And then you have that info uh, that's on the back of the slip cover also on your postcard here. And it says spray here to send a scented greeting. You could do that technically, I guess. And then you have this little uh, booklet, which has different fragrances from the house, uh, along with their note breakdowns. Again, really cool. I like uh, the box a lot. And here you got the bottle. Now the bottle is much more simple, but it's very heavy in the hand. It's highly polished. It looks very good. You have a sticker on the front with the name of the house, name of the fragrance. It's an extrait de parfum. Then on the back, once again, you have a little bit from that painting. So that's very cool. Then on the bottom, you have a sticker and then the cap clicks into place. You know what time it is. It's time to waste a spray or two. So the atomizer on this is good. It's not pressurized or anything. It does shoot out though, like a really concentrated like cone of fragrance. So it's not one that's gonna give you this big puff of fragrance. It's, it's pretty narrow. If you spray it on uh, close to your skin, you're gonna get like a really saturated part uh, where your, your skin is basically just covered. So how does it smell? Is this good? Does it stand up to the two fragrances that I smelled before? Well, spoiler alert, yes. Yeah, this stuff is really good. So far, the house is three for three. Like I said, I got in a discovery set, so we'll see, you know, if I've just been lucky and I'm basically like smelling the best of the best right now. And as it goes on, maybe I've maybe got some weaker fragrances out there, or if this is a house that's flying under the radar with just killer freaking fragrances here. Okay, so the first time I smelled this, it made me think, okay, like it smells good, it's nice. Uh, it's done in a style I've smelled before. That kind of oud, saffron uh, type of scent profile, you know, where you smell it and you go, oh, yeah, yeah, there's like, you know, four or five other niche fragrances out there in that vein, in that style. That's how I thought from the tester strip the very first time I smelled it. Then I took it and I actually sprayed it on. 
Now in the opening, it has this interesting kind of sweetness to it. Well, quite sweet, but it's interesting in the sense that it has this kind of dark fruity sweetness to it to an extent, like with a tart edge. And yet I don't think that in the note breakdown, which is handily right here, yeah. There's uh, nothing in there that would give me that, like that obvious kind of thing where you can point to it and say, oh, well, it's, it's that note. So yeah, it has this nice tart uh, kind of fruity sweetness, like a currant or um, like a berry to an extent, but none of that in the official note breakdown. So you have saffron quite a bit, quite a bit of it. A uh, little cinnamon, uh, again, kind of a sweet cinnamon uh, behind that. And then whiskey, very, uh, boozy sweet again gonna throw it back a little bit to uh, side effect in the way it comes across there in the opening but then as this dries down it gets so much better like it really just opens up it becomes much more interesting you do have these changes as the fragrance dries you get a little orris that creeps in you get tobacco leaf that comes out through the mid a good dose of tonka Pretty solid dose uh, with a bit of vanilla as well and a woodiness. And that underlying woodiness comes out more and more as the fragrance dries. Almost smells like there's a hint of incense again as it dries. Initially, you're not gonna pick that up. Initially, you're gonna pick up that sweetness, that saffron, that sort of tartness initially that quickly fades. You're gonna pick up that, that cinnamon, that whiskey and benzoin, all that. That's what comes through initially. But as it dries, as I said, uh, that woodiness, that patchouli, tobacco, that bit of incense that it smells like it has. Ah, oh, it's like a more masculine take on side effect, more interesting take, uh, a little bit more elegant than side effect. Yeah, less youthful, synthetically sweet. So I'd say that uh, while this does have that initial feeling of that oud forward, saffron heavy, uh, somewhat smoky, woody, Middle Eastern style fragrance that's been done to death. You know, when you maybe first smell it, that might pop into your mind and you'll think, oh, that's all we got here. You know, on to the next one, who cares, whatever. I've smelled this 10,000 times, you know? And even if it's done well, it's hard to get psyched about it because, you know, you just smelled it so many times, frankly. Once you really wear the fragrance and you let it evolve and you, you smell, you know, how it goes through the opening into the mid into the dry down. This stuff becomes addictive. You just want to wear it again and again. The booze is there in force, like the whiskey note that's in here. Uh, you pick that up pretty prominently early on. Again, as I've said, tying it into kind of that style of fragrance of initial side effect. Uh, that booziness lingers for a long time. So if you don't enjoy that, this fragrance may not do it for you because that lingers for a long, long, long time. It does eventually dissipate and go away once you head into the far dry down, uh, but it's there for long enough that it could kill the fragrance for you. But as long as you don't mind that, you have got to check this stuff out. It is top freaking notch. And at full retail, I know it's only 50 mils, not 100 mils, but at full retail to be priced under $200 and, you know, with the code to be able to pick it up for, you know, close to 180, uh, close to that price point, I think it's actually pretty good because it is an extrait to parfum. And this is one of those extrait to parfum fragrances that lasts forever. So off my skin, I have seven hills, sticks around and sticks around and sticks around. And if you spray your clothes, good luck. It's gonna be one of those deals where you have to wash your clothing to get it out. You know, it's that type of fragrance that you spray it on with the jacket, you hang the jacket up and then you, you know, pull the jacket out like three weeks later and uh, you throw it on and just a puff of <laughs> the fragrance comes out and you're like, what? That's still there? Projection is good, well above average, not uh, unholy, not unchained. You, you know, it's not one of those fragrances uh, that will absolutely annihilate people around you. Actually, I'd say side effect is stronger between the two side effect, especially in the opening and mid when it's, as I said, just really syrupy sweet um, side effect has got more push to it. But actually, I think that's to its detriment because between the two, and again, I do not dislike side effect. I've done a review on it. Uh, the opening, as I said earlier, and in that review, mm, a little iffy for me, but once it settles, it's really nice. But I'm, I'm just frankly, probably not gonna really wear it going forward. I'll, I'll reach for this instead. Uh, in terms of seasons, fall, winter, cold weather, cold weather and cool weather, uh, daytime, nighttime leans, nighttime use for me. And this one right here makes it three out of three 
for the house. I am really, really enjoying this one. So there we go, I have seven hills, really solid stuff. Uh, I would sample this if you can. Go ahead and grab yourself one of these little sample deals. See what you think about it. I wanna thank you guys for hanging with me here until the end of the video. Again, uh, first impressions of that discovery set should be coming out soon. We'll see how it is. Uh, if you've smelled from this house more stuff than I have, let me know what are the heavy hitters that I need to be looking out for? What do I need to get my nose on? Thank you for hanging with me here. Stay safe out there. I'll see you again tomorrow with another Fergus video. See you guys later.